What's the matter? It was Titan's voice behind me, and then I heard her gasp. She'd seen them too. What's wrong with all those butterflies? She sounded scared. They're looking at us. Then Christine and Madeline joined us, and they were staring at the butterflies too. I think it's your red T-shirt, Aaron. Christine said with a giggle. You heard what Mister Chua said. Butterflies can see red, green, and yellow. They don't like us," whispered Aaron. "Are they dangerous?" Madeline asked him. Madeline grew up. Christine raised her voice. Butterflies don't attack people, but they are black and gold like the caterpillar we squished last night," Aaron insisted. Maybe they want revenge. How could butterflies get revenge? I laughed, trying not to be nervous. There was a strange sound, like a sigh, stirring right through the cage, and it grew louder until it became like a rush of air, like a strong wind. The butterfly suddenly moved forward, pushing on the wire, straining against it until it almost burst under their weight. We all leapt back. I told you. Yelled Aaron. They are trying to get us. Something gripped my shoulder. I jumped and gave a strangled scream. Hey kids! Said a funny thin voice. I spun around. It was a skinny man with stooped soldier shoulders that leaned forward as though he was going to fall over. His face was weathered like an old rock. And his eyes had an empty look. I'd seen him before somewhere. Then I remembered, he was the manager of the butterfly farm. He'd sold Mister Troy our tickets at the gate. Butterflies got you spooked, had they? Asked Stinny voice. Titan tried to smile at him. While、well, are they? While、well, they are acting strangely. The empty eyes look at the black and gold butterflies. Intelligent creatures, butterflies are, the skinny voice said. In America, the monarch monarch butterfly migrates south to avoid the winter. Heard about it? Millions of them, tens of millions of them. They try. They fly south to California and Mexico. Use the same trees every year. Winters over, they fly back north to feed on their favorite plants. Two thousand miles, they go all up. Aaron stared at him, his mouth hanging open like a butterfly net. Do they ever kill people? Not yet," said Stinny voice, and gave a Stinny laugh. Wouldn't blame them if they did. Man is destroying their trees and plants. Building houses and roads can't survive. Butterflies can't. He was giving me the creeps. I think we better find our teacher. I said, moving away. My name's Slappy. He stooped, shoulders twitch. You want to know about butterflies? You ask me. There were there was another huge sigh from the butterflies, and we raced off to join the rest of the group. I want to go home, Madeline. Back, Titan looked back at the cage. I want to know what's making those butterflies so weird. How were we to know that we would find out soon?